Hey guys, Jubble here, introducing a brand new series on my channel. This is called Generations and Chill, where I choose a friend, a guest, or someone you may know from the internet as we play through Sonic Generations each level. Today's guest is Landy, a great friend of mine. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Anyway, Landy, Landy really dislikes his life. I mean, like, who wouldn't? Seriously? Like, These are lies and slender. Dislike is not where it starts. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, uh, Thanks for that awesome. It's good to be here. Anyway, uh, Lenny's a great friend of mine. Uh, we met about a year and a half, uh, sorry, half a year back, or a year back. And uh, yeah, uh, so anyway, Lenny, I have brought you on this hellhole because I would like to uh, get as much opinions as I can on the Sonic series and cluster them together to see what, and make an overall review of what the Sonic fan base seems to consist of. But mainly, this is just a Generations playthrough. Anyway, uh, what are your opinions on the Sonic franchise, if I may? Um, it's an interesting one. It's not as consistent in quality as other franchises, such as Mario, but I do still think that it's a pretty solid franchise overall. And to anybody that says it's, that you know, oh, Sonic is dead, you know, well, I don't think that's true. Mostly because we're getting Mania and Forces this year, and... You know, they're two experiences that I'm really looking forward to. So, you know, Mania is... Uh, it's going to be another good classic Sonic game. I mean, everybody likes the classics, for the most part. And Forces looks like an interesting take on the boost formula that I haven't uh, quite seen since Color. So, that should be pretty cool. Hmm. I'm quite looking forward to Forces as well. Just a few nitpicks yeah. now and there, and, uh, you know, I'm not exactly a fan of the style it's going for. But I'm sure, all in all, it'll be a good game. Regardless, we can hope so. Yeah. So for uh, Izuku doesn't uh, end up putting. I know that. I will. I know that I will like it. Hmm. Of course. Anyway, I've already pre-ordered um, the, the collector's edition of Mania, so I'm gonna look forward to playing that when it comes out, which is in like, in what two weeks from now? Basically, yeah. <laughs> I pre-ordered that as well. Yeah. I don't know one person who hasn't pre-ordered Mania, the collector's edition at least. Anyway, um. Mm. Where would you want Sonic to be in the future? How would you want Sonic to go? What is your plans for Sonic? What would what would you plan for Sonic at least? You know, I would like to see a return to the uh, adventure style of games. That'd be pretty interesting. Because, you know, Adventure Adventure 1 was really good. Adventure 2 felt more restrictive, not as free. And while I did like Adventure 2, I liked Adventure 1's play style a little bit more. And... Game engines like Blitz Sonic and Hedge Physics have proved that, you know, Sonic can still be done really well in 3D without doing something like the boost formula. And that's not to say that I don't like the boost formula. I do quite enjoy it, but I want something similar to the adventure games, and Hedge Physics seems to go for that sort of helio. Same with uh, Blitz. And it's proof that you can iterate on that concept without making it more restrictive, like Adventure 2 did. Hmm. Yeah, no, I can... Like it or hate it, we can... Like, in there, like, it, like it or... <laughs> Like it or hate it, I think that we can all agree that Adventure 2 was not exactly a refinement. Like, a few things were refined from uh, Sonic Adventure 1, but at the same time, they did a lot of things that I wasn't a big fan of, mostly just making the controls a little tighter and not as loose as Adventure 1 was. But, you know, all in all, still, I, I like both games, respectively. You know, that's, yeah, I agree with you there. Sonic Adventure 1, in my opinion, didn't have the better controls, simply because it felt a lot more free. And, you know, SA2 was obviously a lot more linear, as uh, as you've stated previously. So, uh, mm. yeah, no, I, I completely agree with you. I reckon Sonic would be just as good, if, if not better, going back to um, the Adventure formula. You know, I reckon it's a great step, yeah. great step to go. Um, anyway, I never actually got to ask you, what was your introduction to Sonic? Uh, oh boy. Um, so this all, uh, it all started back when my dad, uh, cause, he, do you remember those, like, plug-and-play games, like, little Pac-Man yeah. things? And I, I had a Spongebob one, too, that you would, uh, you know, see at, like, Target. Well, one time we had, I had one that was a Sega Genesis. Now, at this time, I was already an established, uh, you know, Mario fan. You know, I really liked 2D platformers. And the Sega Genesis thing, 
gave me the chance to the Sega Genesis plug and play thing gave me the chance to try out Sonic the Hedgehog. And not only did Sonic as a character resonate more with me, but also just the gameplay style felt more interesting. It felt faster, which I liked. That's not to discredit Mario, of course. I, I still love Mario, and it's time, Mario's time and time again revolutionized how we even play platformers, but, you know, Sonic, I definitely felt a stronger connection to as a game series. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's... So, uh, I played, you know, the classics, Sonic 1, 2, 3, and Knuckles, and those were some of my favorite games of all time, and... Later on, I didn't really play a lot of other Sonic games that weren't that. Um, I played... I only played the adventure games actually somewhat recently. Like, uh, I want to say 2013 to 2014 or something. Somewhat recent. Uh, I did not grow up with them, sadly. It's weird because my boyfriend did, but I didn't. <laughs> so, And I'm the bigger Sonic fan, so it's odd, to say the least. Well, I mean... But I actually mostly became a fan through uh, Sonic X because, you know, I used to watch that a lot. So that's sort of how I got into Sonic. And later on, I ended up playing Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 and eventually Generations. And that's when I was like, okay, I've played all these sort of play styles that Sonic has to offer. So I do feel like I can call myself a proper Sonic fan now. Hmm. <laughs> Just, <laughs> well, I mean... You know, there's people out there who could argue it wouldn't be worth revisiting Adventure 1 and 2 because, you know, do you remember a time where, like, back, uh, I want to say back uh, 2012 to 14, Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 were praised as great games. And they were, like, always in, like, the top, um, top five best Sonic games ever, usually at number one. And it's, like, it's so funny how times changed and people are like, oh, Adventure 1 and 2 aren't actually that good and, you know, they're not actually that fun. You know, I... Yeah, so, sort of like liking 06 has sort of become its own... Exactly! Exactly! Bandwagon that people are jumping onto. It has! It has! That's what... I'm kind, I'm kind of annoyed, to be honest, at that, because it feels like one guy was honestly like, yeah, I kind of like 06, and everyone was like, well, this guy has a different opinion? I don't know whether to react like a bitch or to, like, agree with him. I kind of think that started this whole, like, dude... It's <laughs> the best way of saying it. <laughs> it's, it, it. I feel like it started this whole trend of, hey, you know, 06 is good. Because, you know, there's some points that it may have done well in, like music, so that makes it infinitely better than Sonic 1 and 2 and Adventure 1 and 2 and fucking Unleashed. But... To be honest, I've, I've always liked certain elements of 06. Like, I do like key parts of the story, even though, all in all, it's a weird mess that's hard to follow up with. And of course, the music is pretty good. The visuals are all right for a early Xbox 360 title, and I do feel that if it was rushed, it could have, or if it wasn't rushed, it could have had a chance. But a lot of people don't seem to get that the issues weren't just from the, it being rushed. Even if it wasn't a buggy mess, there was a lot of fatal flaws to it hmm. that not a lot of people seem to get, such as just the storyline being weird as hell and just things being generally dumb. Hey, you, you, I guess you could say they rushed that game to be an advanced hell. Oh, fucking stop. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I should die. Yeah, suppose so. <laughs> anyway, uh, we might end this off here. Lenny, would you like to say goodbye in good old Sonic vo Sonic's voice? Uh, sure. Thanks for watching, everybody, and stay cool. See you guys. <laughs>